Hello and welcome, I'm Mensa Augustin. In this mass video tutorial, we'll be looking at linear homogeneous second order differential equations with constant coefficients. So by the end of this um, mass video tutorial, you will be able to solve second order constant coefficient ordinary differential equations whose characteristic equations or auxiliary equations have distant or unrepeated real roots. So let's take these a uh, few examples to improve our understanding. Now, if I have two y prime prime minus seven y prime plus three y equals zero, then the auxiliary equation or the characteristic equation is given by two m squared minus 7m plus 3 equals 0. So let us factorize or solve this quadratic equation. We have 2m squared um, minus 6m minus m plus 3 equals 0. Now, this is going to give us 2m into m minus 3 minus 1 into m minus 3 equal 0. Wow. So we are good to go, right? We have 2m minus 1 into m minus 3 equal 0. If we equate 2m minus 1 to 0, we get m equals half. And if we equate m minus 3 to 0, we get m equal in a very simple way. Now, what do we write next? What we are going to write is the general solution. So we write the general solution as y equals c1 e to the power m1 times x plus c2 e to the power m2 times x in a very simple way. So this is simply the general solution for linear second order differential equation with constant coefficient whose characteristic equation have distant or unrepeated real roots. So here, m1 can be half or we can take m2 to be half or m1 to be three or m2 to be three. So if we take m1 to be half and m2 to be 3, then we have the general equation as y equals c1 e power half of x plus c2 e power 3x as the general solution. So here we don't have any initial conditions or um, boundary value problem. So this is the general solution. Now, let us try this one, and after that, I give you one for you to try. If I have this nice one, if I have the squared y on the x squared plus dy on dx minus 6y equals 0. Wow, then we have to find the general solution of this uh, differential equation. So this is the second derivative, right? So we take m squared plus, this represents y prime, so m minus six equal zero. Wow. So we have m squared plus three m minus two m minus six equal zero. I hope you know how to solve, uh, what do you call it? Quadratic equation, right? Okay. So this gives m into m plus three, minus 2 into m plus 3 equal 0. We have m minus 2 into m plus 3 equal 0, which gives m equal 2, m equal negative uh, 3. So you see that these roots are real and distant. So we write the general equation as y equals c1 e to the power 
m1x so m1 if it is 2 we take 2x plus c2 e to the power m2 if it is negative 3 then write minus 3 times x in a very simple way now try this one and leave your answer at the comment section what is the general solution of y prime prime minus 3y prime plus 2y equal 0. Hope this video finds you well. Please kindly like, share, follow, and comment for us to build the mathematics community.